Moving on, however, we've got uh, John here from Waller Technologies. Hi, John. Hi. Good name, matches mine, so I'm happy with that. Um, for those who don't know, first of all, tell us a little bit about Waller. Uh, Waller is a manufacturer of audio, video, monitoring equipment. Yep. So, short and sweet, very easy. You make audio and video monitoring. That's correct. Um, yeah. This is IBC, and uh, you guys are in the business of releasing new stuff. Um, there's a new product, I think, DVM, a DVM product you've got right, out. Correct. Tell us a little bit about this, this product. Uh, the DVM is a uh, multimedia digital video monitor. Yep. And uh, basically, it, it's a standard video monitor. It can yep. support uh, inputs from SDI, yep. HD, 3G. Yep. Um, and it also can decode MPEG streams as well. Right. Yeah, right. MPEG 2 uh, and MPEG H.264 ABC. So, for those who don't know, how does something like a DVM make a, a user's life easier? Well, it replaces um, a number of decoders yep. and in a studio environment. Yep. Um, we have some units that we're using in some local broadcast stations that have been early adopters. And what they can do is they can see, uh, if they're using MPEG, yep. they can decode multi-stream MPEG streams over uh, ASI. Yep and uh, see the information that's contained within each one of these streams, right. which are the uh, program IDs. Yep. Uh, what that means for them is they don't have to bring out a piece of test gear if they're monitoring it. Right. If they need to actually test a stream and, under and find an issue, a problem, yep. then they can bring a test gear in. In the meantime, someone else can be looking at, actively looking at the stream, right. decoding it, yep. seeing what the information is in those streams yeah. and making sure it more or less matches what they're expecting. Yeah. So, the, so there's obviously certain pieces of crucial information you need to keep yeah. an eye on and obviously this can display it. So what sort of information can the monitor display? The information is the, uh, the most important one are the program uh, tables, yeah. the program access table and the conditional access table and so on. And it indicates whether or not they're present. Yeah. And if they're not present, um, it doesn't really matter. There's a warning. So there's some requirements that have to be met for MPEG. Yeah. Um, and in addition to that, it splits out from the stream the program map table, which can then be examined for the active streams that are within it, such as sure. the video stream and the audio yeah. streams. From that, you can select the uh, audio streams that you want to decode, yeah. and then start the decode process. So that's on the MPEG side, of things, but you can, you can also put in a raw SDI feed in there, and mm -hmm. other feeds as well. Can you just go over the inputs that this, this system yeah, has? Yeah, we've had a few. Uh, adopters, early adopters of this product, yep. take the MPEG stream as it's monitoring, as it's going out to a transmission site, yep. then it's being received back through an IRD or something yep. of that sort, and then the SDI right. input is used to yep. compare input to output gotcha. to verify that during the transmission path that the, what was sent, yep. what was correct. If an issue occurs, a problem occurs along that path, then they can say what where that happened. Gotcha. So, um, this is a single standalone product. Single standalone product. Uh, which you can literally purchase from yourself, plug in, plug and, in. and go. go. Um, so this doesn't replace sort of high-end monitoring or diagnostic systems. This is something to give you confidence that everything it's is working right. What, what Waller does, confidence yes. monitoring. Yeah. That's it. We're not trying to do deep MPEG analysis. Yeah. Right. So it, it, it's, it's there so you can be confident that what you're getting right. is what people are seeing correct. and everything is correct. That's great. Now, this is new to IBC? This was introduced, I believe, at IBC last year. Yeah. Um, it is now released product. Right. And it's new to Waller. We now have it ready to ship. Brilliant. So I was, I was just about to ask that. So people can order this yeah. now, and shipping is mm -hmm. immediate, effectively? Effectively, yes. Yeah. Fantastic, John. That's great. Um, if people want to come and see you, whereabouts can they find you here at IBC? Uh, we're at 10. Um, yeah. Hall 10, and I can't remember this. Uh, do you know what? Day. I'll let you know, just in case <laughs> so you can find your way back at the end. You are uh, Hall 10 B10. 10, okay. B10 okay. Uh, is where you are. Uh, these halls are so massive, there's so mm. much going on there. You get, at least as long as you know the hall, you can always find your boo, can't you, your main stand? Uh, obviously, this is going out to the world. People are watching now and they want to have a look at your website. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your website address? 
www.wohler, which is W-O-H-L-E-R, dot com. John, thank you very much. I much appreciate you coming on. Uh, if you're interested in having a look at their competence monitors, uh, that DVM sounds amazing. It'll give you all the information you need to be confident that you're getting the signal through the system correctly. Uh, go and have a look at their website, uh, waller.com, uh, and you'll find out all the information. Of course, if you are at IBC, go and find them. They are in Hall 10 and it's stand B10, but I'm sure you can't miss them once you get in there anyway.